Welcome to this video in which we will learn how to make this hopper and how to flatten this into a sheet. So let's begin. First click on file, click on new, select a part and then click OK. A new file will be opened. Select this top plane and select this sketch option. After that, drop down this menu and select here center rectangle. And we will be making a center rectangle at this origin. Make sure that MMGS unit is selected. You can also select inches or any other unit. So click on smart dimension and specify the length of this line as 250 millimeter. You can also specify any other and here I am specifying 150 millimeter you can specify here according to your case then check this box select this fillet tool and one by one select these corners I'm selecting these corners second one third one and finally this one and here you can specify the radius I'm specifying here 10 okay now select the circle and here at the mid this point this is the midpoint of the line make a circle then select the smart dimensioning tool and specify the diameter of this circle I'm specifying here 4 millimeter it's a smaller circle okay and now press the escape button select this circle and select this option construction geometry it will be turned into a dotted circle now exit the sketch from here and now what you need to do is select this top plane okay select this top plane then go to features and in this reference geometry select the plane do not forget to select the top plane okay and here you need to specify the distance as 200 millimeter actually this is the height of the hopper okay here you can see I'm increasing it and the decreasing it we need to specify here 200 millimeter and then click OK and now we have to select this plane and select this option sketch OK click on sketch and then we need to make a center rectangle here so select a center rectangle and make a center rectangle at this origin now select the smart dimensioning tool and select this line specify the length of this line 100 then click on enter button now press the escape button or check the box then select this line and can press the control button on your keyboard select the other one and make relation equal now select the fillet tool and here select this area in which we have make our rectangle click yes yes and yes again and all of these corners have been selected specify here radius I'm specifying here 47 so this radius is 47 and then check this box and now we need to make another center rectangle so select here center rectangle and add this origin make a rectangle at the previous point okay and then select this for construction and here you can see these lines have been turned into a dotted dotted one and now select this line and press the delete button from your keyboard now the sketch has been opened now select the line and make a small line here okay press the escape button now select the line again and make here a small line press the escape button 
and then select this line press the control button on your keyboard select the other line make relation equal so now these lines are equal then select this smart dimensioning tool from this point to this point specify the distance as 4 then press enter button then select this curve press control button select this line and make relation as tangent similarly select this curve and select this line press control button make sure and make relation as tangent and now simply exit the sketch and now we would require the sheet metal if you do not have sheet metal let me delete this first and then I will show you okay do I and I do not have sheet metal right click on the ribbon and here you need to select the sheet metal so here we have sheet metal uh, but before that sele select this sketch select this right click on this sketch and click on edit sketch we need to trim this one so uh, select the trim entities select this option trim to the closest click here click on yes and this line has been deleted now the sketch has been opened now exit the sketch and then go to sheet metal select this lofted bend command and here in this window we need to select this sketch the upper one and this lower one this sketch so this hopper will be created and we need to adjust the thickness of this hopper from here let me show you here we can increase the thickness this is one millimeter you can increase it according to your case I am specifying here one and then check this box from here okay uh, before flatten it let's hide this sketch and you can apply some material I'm quickly applying this steel and then in the sheet metal you can uh, here in the sheet metal you can click on this flatten option and this is the sheet that can be rolled into a hopper you can save it into a dfx file and can give it to any cnc or laser cutting machine so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you